This is John Leanto Marketer, uh, just doing some training with you uh, today about putting some tracking codes on your lead pages page. And uh, if, you, if you visit the blog, you'll always hear me banging on about tracking and how important it is. Because how do you get the most out of your software if you don't have the best converting page? Um, how do you know how your business is performing without tracking it? And so the first stage to this is just to, to put the codes on the page. And I'm going to show you just some simple stuff. Two, two things, your Google code and your Facebook uh, tracking pixel. And so if we come to Google, if you go to your Google Analytics account, um, and uh, if I just come back to, to my anti-marketer, if I just go into my anti-marketer account, if I just go to admin, it'll bring up this page, lots of different things. I just want to come down to here, middle column, tracking info, tracking code. There we go. Basically it tells me to put that anywhere on the page. And um, So what I usually do with my tracking codes, I just have them set up in a text file that I, I save somewhere. And then I don't have to keep going into Google. I can just set up the code um, in the file and, and just whenever I create a page, I can copy it and that makes it easy. So that's my Google code. I get it from that section. The other thing you want to do is get your Facebook pixel code and you might be thinking, well, what do I need that for? Well, you might not be using it straight away, um, but you can build an audience of anyone who visits the page. If you're going to be advertising, you definitely need the Facebook pixel code. So where you get that from, I use Facebook Business Manager, so I'm not sure where you get it from. Uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty similar place uh, if you're just using your normal Facebook account. Um, uh, but uh, I, I recommend as well, once your business gets serious, you're going to get multiple people doing your social media and doing different things. Register for Facebook, uh, a Facebook business account. Um, I think it's business.facebook.com. Um, and you can manage your whole business through there, but you can give other people access to your stuff. So anyways, pixels. Uh, when you do a drop down, you've got all the different tools here. You just want to go to the pixel. You want to select the ad account. You want to go actions. Uh, you want to go edit pic, uh, view pixel. And there's two elements to the pixel. So the first is uh, this this part of the pixel here, the base pixel. So you just copy that there, um, and uh, copy that into a text file, which I've done. Um, and then there's event codes as well. These are recommended. Um, and I'll explain how to use them, but I'm, I'm going to show you how to install it just on a standard opt-in form and thank you page. So I want the view code and I want the lead code. Um, works without these, by the way, but this just is something they've added to, to help. Um, and you can read up about it. This is more about where you put them in, in lead pages than how you use the code. But So um, you might be using other code. You might be using... Um, uh, VWO to do split testing. If you don't want to use lead pages split testing, um, you might be using your Google uh, retargeting code. But where you where you do it? Here's my lead pages implementation guide page. I'm going to go into tracking. Um, lots of other things here that, for you to pay attention to, but it's in the analytics here. I'll just delete that because I've already I've, I've uh, put that in before. So. I come here to my document, I put my Facebook pixel code in there. Now because this is a sign up page, um, I'm going to put my view code here. Um, so that just enables when you're running ads, uh, and I've just given it a value of a dollar, but you can you can use their, their, rhythmic, their um, mathematical type things once you've got a clear indication of that. Uh, and then in the body tag, that's where I'm going to put my Google. So I'll come back to my, my text file here. And I'm going to come here and go there. I'm going to hit save. Okay, and then I'm going to hit update. Okay, so you can see my page has been updated. 
I'm going to come. Uh, I'm not going to use the, the lead pages link, although I could, I'm going to, because I've used the WordPress integration. Um, and so I've got a nicely branded page there. Just a couple of other things. Uh, I might do some videos on it. Change your favicon and, and, and put your SEO titlings on the page. It makes it look more professional. But um, what you'll notice here um, is that you will have the code there. Chrome has a cool little feature, your, fix, your, your Facebook pixel helper. Um, and so you can see here the two pixels. I've got my page view um, and my view content there. Uh, so that's found the Facebook pixel. Um, I don't know of a Google one, but uh, you can often just look at the code and you'll, you'll be able to see. So that's as simple as that. Um, and it's surprising how many people, a lot of people like to use the, the lead pages tracking as well, and that's cool. But I like to double check. I like to double check what lead pages is telling me versus Google. Uh, so it's so important to put the tracking on there. And it's quite simple, as you'll see. So as you've seen. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that.